I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the present value of a bond. And the reason we have to determine its present value is because we have to record it at its fair value on the balance sheet and we have to be able to amortize any interest expense on that bond. So when we look at bonds, they have really two components to them. One is its maturity value, what it's going to pay out at maturity or the principal amount, and that's called the principal or the face value of the bond. And then the second component is uh, and are semi usually semi-annual interest payments here. In this case, I have uh, 10 semi-annual payments at $4,500 each, and uh, that's because it had uh, the bond had a stated interest rate of 9%, and times 9% times 100,000 would be $9,000 per year. And if it pays out um, semi-annual payments, you divide that by two, and you get $4,500 payments. So what we have to do here is discount these payments back to their present value and we have to discount this face value or its principal amount back to its present value here at the issue or the purchase date. And what we have to determine here is the uh, present value of both the principal and the payments. So let's go up here and look at how we did that. For the payments, of course, I use. you can use your financial calculator. In this case, I use the uh, present value function in Excel where I put in the interest rate here and the interest rate that we use here is the market interest rate and that's uh, what the market is uh, valuing a bond or the interest value on bonds at that time so I um, in this case we had a 10% uh, it went up to 10% from the stated rate of 9% and we divide that by 2 we get 5% for the semi-annual interest rate. So we put in our interest rate, number of periods, and in, in here I put in the payment and we calculated the future value of that those annuity payments here to be $34,747. And then the next um, uh, value that I determined here was the uh, maturity value or the face value of the bond discounted back. So again, we use the same uh, a market interest rate here, number of periods, and then put in the future value and discount that back, and it was $61,391. <coughs> Adding both uh, payments and the uh, principal principal amount that's discounted back, I get I got $96,150. So. If we look here at the $96,150, its present value, and compare that to its maturity value, we see it's less than the maturity value. So we consider that a bond issued at a discount. And the reason it was at a discount here is because uh, putting the, uh, con considering the 10% interest rate, which is greater than the stated rate of 9%, you can see that uh, at maturity, this $96,150 would be worth $100,000. You got a greater interest rate here, so it will increase in value until it gets to maturity. Then you compare this $100,000 to the $96,150, and you take the difference here, and you, this is what you'd amortize the interest on that bond over here at a, in, issued at a discount, the 100000 minus 96150 So we get $3,850, which is considered a bond discount because the uh, uh, present value here is less than the future value or the face, face amount of that bond or its uh, principal amount here. That's just a summary on uh, bonds issued at a discount and how you would uh, calculate their present value. Just remember that you've got a maturity amount here, a face value uh, amount that has to be discounted back to the present value along with each one of these uh, or this series of uh, bond interest payments. So there's two components in the bond. The face value or the principal amount that has to be discounted back plus these interest payments that have to be discounted back. And use those uh, financial tables discount tables you can use or a financial calculator. In this case, this case I just demonstrated it with uh, an Excel uh, function here which seems to work pretty good. Here I'm going to show the uh, present value of a bond issued at a premium. Just use the same procedure as we did earlier. Uh, we discount the uh, face or the uh, principal amount back to its present value and also uh, 
discount these uh, semi in this case semi-annual payments this payment stream back to its present value so the present value here will be a combination of the principal plus the payments now let's look at how we calculated that uh, using the present value function here in Excel Excel I calculated uh, the present value of these payments. Now I have to note here that uh, the semi-annual interest rate has changed here. Uh, it happens to be 4% for the semi-annual rate. That's based on now where the interest rate went down from the stated 9% to 8%. That's the market interest rate for that bond. So we divide that by 2 to get the semi-annual interest rate and for those payments. Discount those payments back. We get a value of here of $36,499. That's for the payments. Now the present value of the uh, principal amount here discounted that back again over the 10 periods or the um, semi-annual payments of 10, 10 semi-annual payments at that market interest rate or the semi-annual interest rate here of 4% and we get a, a present value of that principal amount $67,566. Add the payments present value along with the principal or the face amount here's present value you get $104,000 $104,100 so we go down here and look at its present value of $104,100 and we consider that a premium because $104,100 is greater than its maturity or its face value here so uh, just the logic here is that the market interest rate is less than the stated interest rate so when we look at this uh, present value here and we have to calculate its we look at it forward um, value here the future value would be a hundred thousand dollars interest rate is less here now the premium uh, amount that of uh, amortized interest we calculate in the same fa fashion here we got the hundred thousand dollar face amount and we compare that to the premium amount here and we get forty one hundred dollar or hundred and four thousand minus one hundred thousand dollars for a forty one hundred dollar uh, bond premium that has to be amortized over the life of that bond on our balance sheet again just reviewing here we take this face amount or the principal amount and we discount it back to its present value along with those payments and uh, determine its present value here and make sure that you understand this market interest rate you have to determine that or it has to be determined so you can put it into your uh, calculator here and determine your payment payment amount or your present value amounts for your payments and the face value.